Hello my fellow researchers, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to be going over the standard linear multiple regression in SPSS. And so what I want you to get out of this video is first how to uh, determine what is the regression equation for the data, what is the correlation coefficient, what is the F ratio, and our significance value or our probability value. Okay, so. In this case, I'm going to be using two predictor variables, variable x1 and variable x2, and we're going to be using them to predict variable y. Now, here is our data, and I have 30 cases, and generally, you know, just to ensure that you have a big enough sample size, you're going to want to make sure you have about 15 cases per predictor variable. So I have two predictor variables, therefore I want 30 cases, and that's exactly what I have. And again, this data is all hypothetical, so uh, we don't have too many uh, issues to, to worry about in this case. We're just going to figure out how to actually conduct the linear regression. First step is analyze regression linear. And I'm going to throw in our dependent variable, variable y, into the dependent variable box. And I'm going to throw in variables x1 and x2 into our independent variable box. And in this little section here, it says method, and I have enter selected. And there are uh, different types of multiple regression uh, you can do um, if you want to do the standard multiple regression, which is what we're doing here. Just make sure it's set to enter. And that's it. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to get four boxes here, and we're going to focus on these bottom three. And in the first box, titled Model Summary, you can see here our correlation coefficient, r. And it's a big r, and that's usually indicating that we have uh, multiple predictor variables. And we have a value of 0.961, and that's very uh, high. Um, you know, any values close to 1 indicate a strong correlation. So this is a very strong correlation. And here I have my adjusted R square. And the adjusted R square is less than the R square value. And that's because the adjusted R square um, takes into account whether you have a, a small sample size. And so if you have a small sample size and you get an R square value, uh, it's, it, it could be that you're actually overestimating you know, your confidence. And so with the adjusted R square value, it takes into consideration that, well, you have a small sample size, and so you know your, your, your correlation coefficient is probably closer to, to this value than it is to that value. In this case, they're almost the same, so nothing to worry about here. Um, in our ANOVA table, we have our F ratio, and so we're determining the significance of our regression equation. And the significant value here is less than 0.001. So this is a very significant uh, regression uh, equation and it's a very significant uh, correlation coefficient. In our coefficients table here we're going to be uh, using this information to develop the or to actually write out the equation and you can see here in this um, in this column unstandardized coefficients B we have our constant okay which is negative 2.7 we have our constant or coefficient for variable x1 which is 0 0.1 and we have our coefficient for variable x2 which is 5.4 so let me bring up this uh, uh, drawing board and we're going to fill in now these values based on on these tables so let me just make sure this is working here whoops okay that'll do so um, I'm just going to start filling it in with what we know. Okay, y equals, right? And I'll put a little hat there so you know it's, pre it's the predicted y. Uh, B1. So B1 is the uh, coefficient for variable x1. So looking in the coefficients table, you can see B1 for variable x1 is equal to 0 0.1. So I'm just going to write in 0 0.1 x1. And now B2 is the coefficient for variable X2. And looking in our coefficients table again, you can see in the X2 row here, we have 5.4. So 
So I'm going to put 5.4 x2. And then finally, we have our uh, constant. And in this case, uh, for our constant, we have a value of negative 2.7. So I'm going to put minus 2.7. So this is our regression equation. And you can use this to uh, say you know uh, the value uh, for a particular person of variable x1 and variable x2, then you can predict what their value will be for variable y. And that's based on the data that we had. For r, you can see here our correlation coefficient is 0 0.961, which is a strong correlation coefficient. And our f ratio value right here is 163 approximately. And the significance is, you can see there, 0 0.000. Well, that's less than 0 0.001. So in this case, I'm just going to write in 0 0.001. Uh, it's very significant. So, so that's how you uh, uh, conduct a standard linear multiple regression and how you determine what is the, the actual equation what is the correlation coefficient, the F ratio, and finally the significance of all that. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video in this video series. Cheers.